who doesn't love a modern Spanish hot hatch? Today we've got something special. We've got a lovely Mark II Say Cupra. Something different. Gonna get obviously the owner will be behind the camera today, so I'm gonna give you a lovely walk around and my honest opinion of it from a passenger seat. Hope you all enjoy and yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Peace. So guys, you join me with this lovely Say It Cupra, and I must admit, mate, this is a lovely car, how it's presented and everything like that. What modifications have you done to it to get it to where it is? Well, starting at the front, we've got an FX1 fiberwork splitter. Yep. Uh, that was done by Fiberworks itself. That actually looks very nice. That blends into the actual bumper itself very, very well. We've got a, what they call a wide mouth. Um, oh, yeah. Which is just done with black vinyl. Uh, yeah. Just to bring the lines down. That was done by Steve at HL Graphics. That looks proper aggressive. It does. It looks good. Um, we've got LED running lights. LED side lights and LED fog lights. Mm -hmm. um, they're from Jamie Moore at Little More Lighting. Ah, oh, that gives. Am I right in saying that this is still the stock um, headlight still itself? Still the same st stock headlight, um, factory Xenons. Yeah. So, at, at one of the best mods you can do. Yeah. We've got in the indicator, they're actually from the Renault, uh, not the Renault, the Range Rover supercharged indicator bulbs. Oh, okay. So they're. Oh, just this. Sorry, mate. Oh, just yeah. Kidding. Yeah, they just look... a slight little mod yeah. that you can do. That looks... I, I wouldn't... No one would know that, if that makes sense. No. Like, that looks very no, subtle as well. I like how that works. How it just... A little bit of colour. Yeah. Actually, the colour does suit it with a little bit. So, I've also got a, a upgraded coupe badge from a Sayat badge. Yeah. Just a little touch. Tony Thurston done that for me at Laser Art. I must admit, when Cooper came out with this logo... It was a bit Marmite. Marmite, but... Yeah. Through the years, lovely. It grows on you. It does grow on you. So, uh, CSR headlight rails. Yep. Um, again, not a nice little touch for the front end. They look a bit too bubbly and a bit too happy to me. Yeah. And that gives it a little bit more of an edge. More of a mean look. Yeah. Yeah. And then moving on to under the engine bay. Yep. Lovely. We have a racing line intake. Yep. We have a new speed uh, engine cover. Yeah. We have a ES. The ACS uh, tuning dipstick. Yep. We've got um, Lamborghini um, oil cap. Yep. Lamborghini water cap. Nice. Uh, we've got um, just standard injector in, uh, uh, coil packs. Coil pack, sorry. Uh, I wanted the red and the black because it gives yeah, yeah. the contrast. It does look good actually. Um, forge carbon canister cover. Yep. And the washer bottle delete. Oh, yeah. Um, Plus um, paint mods, um, header can cover. Yep. Um, I've made some little covers myself just to blank off the yeah. sort of little areas of uh, nice. just to tidy it up. Then moving on, got some hydro dipping done by Josh at JH Hydros. Big shout out to Josh. Yep. Does all my work. He's absolutely fantastic at what he does. It's a clean engine, though, mate. Even look at the carbon sets try, it off try very, to, very. Try to keep it clean. Yeah. Um, alpha uh, heat shield at the back for the turbo. Yeah. Um, all the work. Sort of mechanicals are done by good mates at East Church Autos. Big shout out to the lads there. Yep. Um, can't fault them. Um, and that's about it for the engine bay. Yeah. Let's have a look round uh, this side. Obviously, coming. Obviously, big question. Rotor forms. Rotor form Lazars. 18s. <coughs> um, 18 by 8s. Uh, so, uh, straight all round. No stagger. That's nice. Um, 
got plans for the future, so it didn't fit with what I wanted to do. Fair enough. I also run um, aero discs now and again, but I've left them off for today. Yeah. The wheels are a bit black because of the uh, brake dust, so yeah. there's an another upgrade to be done. So we'll be going PBS uh, pads okay. and possibly um, M-Tech brake discs, but just Ooh. looking to see what's about at the moment. Yeah. Obviously standards indicator. Standard indicators, and then moving down side skirts. These were a £10 bargain off of Facebook Marketplace. Jesus, you've got a good bargain there. Absolute, They're lovely. Absolute bargain. Um, painted by Quok at Code Body Shop. Yep. If yep. I'm known on where we live. Yeah. It's a good lad. Um, <sighs> window vent, Steve Thresher. A nice. He's done them for me. Um, SK Graphics, he's a good lad. Yeah. Um, he can do these in all sorts of cuts and whatever you want done. Um, Fiberworks FX1 uh, window louvers. Reason for these. On the Coopers and the, the General Mark II Leon, the window crazes yeah. and it doesn't look good. Yeah. So, a little. I like them, they're nice little subtle. Whenever I've seen these, like the Sates or the Coopers or the R's, like yours, with them on, it just finishes it very, very a, well. a little touch. Yeah. And then move it round. Um, AliExpress. Of the rear spoiler. Oh, oh, nice. 60 pound, I think it was. Fair yeah, enough. Can't, can't, can't go it. wrong. No. Uh, the rear lights are the Octane. I was going to say, are they aftermarket? They're aftermarket yeah. and incredibly hard to come by now. Yeah. Um, don't think you'll find another set. If no. you do, then fair play. Yeah. Um, rear diffuser. That's is nice. Fiber works again. That's an FX1. Yeah. Exhaust is BCS and it's a WRC, Ooh. so it's quite friendly. Um, I think what... that's, that's matted to a um, track slag downpipe, Ooh. which is. Um, I think what we'll have to do is we'll have to get uh, obviously a cheeky little clip, which I'm going to input now. <laughs> to the side it's a lovely color as well i must admit the cupras and the r's in the white is just one of them colors candy white lb9a apparently hmm. it's a very nice color it is uh moving on to the interior yep so it's standard cupra mm. with a few up like little touches so again josh uh j um jh hydros has mm -hmm. hydro dipped my door uh inserts here. i love that um a big shout out to kevin on the uh, Mark II Leon page yeah. and uh, North Coast Workshop for giving me this idea for the doors. I like that. It's, um, it lights up of a night, just gives it a bit of Also, oh, like what you would say getting like Audis, BMWs, like the mood lighting. That's it, but they Lovely. don't supply them on the Mark II standard, so you have to do your own. It's a nice little... Check out his, yeah. his YouTube for that. It's absolutely stunning what he does with Mark IIs. Yeah. Um, we've got diamond uh, car mats. I like that. Which was a, a little present to myself for my birthday. Fair enough. Um, in the centre console there, a little tip for you guys. If you leave your car parked up during the week, go into Tesco's and buy yourself laundry pills and leave them in a cup. Yeah. It gives it a nice fresh smell yeah, rather they're... than that musty yeah. up. Yeah. So everyone asks for what's that? Laundry pills. Best Fair tip enough. I can give you. Um, again, moving to the front. We had some more of Josh's work. Yeah, again, on the front. Um, he's done the dashboard for me. In, um, it's Porsche Carbon. Yeah, I love that. I've got to admit, where the uh, clock cluster is, the shroud for it, the yep. crowd, that's lovely. Porsche Carbon effect. And also, the bottom of the steering wheel has been done as well, nice and touch. It's nice. It's for me. I love little bits like this. And we've got RS3 vents. Yeah. The standard ones of the flaps. A little bit they, floppy? Yeah, they break. Yeah. They don't look good. I mean, one thing, and you know when it's a Cooper, obviously, the seats. The seats. The seats. And also M Tech Engineering. Yeah. Um, custom Cooper again. That's nice. A, a, bit. Little, um, a little Kenwood head unit in there just to. Uh, yeah, that's lovely. Entertain me as I drive. Yeah. I bet your lad gets warm in the summer if it's left out. It's not too bad, actually. No? No, oh, it's that's not good. Too bad. But no, mate, this is lovely inside. It's proper lovely. And then obviously coming back down here, you've got these little, um, little covers. Yeah, little sticky covers. Like, yeah. Again, AliExpress is an experiment. They've, yeah. done, they've done the job for me. To be fair, you can get some really good stuff on there. Yeah. It's a good experiment. Yeah. So the next thing is obviously, mate, let's take this out for a test drive and see how she goes. Let's do it. So guys, you join me from the passenger seat of this lovely Sam Cooper. And from first impressions, I love these seats. They hug very, very well, oh, don't they? They are comfortable and everything like that. But yeah. Interior wise, very comfy. 
built car. What can I say? Like a good built quality car. And the aircon works. Yes, that too. <laughs> that's always that's always a bonus, as such. But no, I mean we forgot to mention this has also got what a soft lift. Uh, a soft lift, error, so it won't let you rev more than four grand, which is it's, good. It's good because it kind of saves your engine from going back. But now we're going to take her down the Cuban Strip and see what. Uh, this is about. I forgot to ask. Do we know power figures as not, such? Not a clue. Stage. Stage two. -ish. Stage two ish. Yeah. Well, when you're ready. <laughs> but yeah, no, this is um, it picked up. But but it's I keep saying it. It's not aggressive. It's very linear and soft it's, from like a passenger point it, it of view. It did have a pop and bang remap on it. Yeah, what I call a pop and bang remap. So it had a lot of pops and bangs. And it was good. It was fun. It draws attention to you, which is you know if you like that sort of thing. But effects of drivability. Yeah, I was going to so say. So you get not you get little flat spots here and there. It, it, yeah. Took it back to Clark down at CKC. Big yeah. shout to Clark. Um, Rechanged the map on a Friday afternoon for me. Nice. And took out for a spin and yeah, well happy with it now. Yeah. Um, and also it doesn't draw that much attention to yourself when you're driving through the high street. It's very, very subtle. If you're trying to go shopping, popping and banging. Yeah, it's kind don't... of frowned upon now as a, a yeah. modern. A bit, never... like, bit like back in the day when you people used to put LED washer jets on them. Yeah. Yeah. It's Cherry wonderful. bombs. Yeah. yeah. But no, it's very, very comfortable. Like, these cars are comfortable. I know I reviewed Ashley's uh, yeah, diesel Ash, version. Ashley's lovely as well. I mean, again, shout out to her and it, thank you for letting me do that. But she obviously told me to come to you for a reason, and I know why she said come to you, because this is very subtle if that makes sense like it's, it's not, subtle it's, but it's, it's, not, it's nice it's not the fastest out there i'm not gonna sort of say it's the fastest one on the road i don't you know but it, it does me for what i want yeah and that's the main and thing and it's only it's more or less a weekend play thing yeah so busy day, busy week at work come back and play with this yeah put it away for a week i know everyone says oh you should drive a car you should drive a car but, but it's not about that for me i've got cars that i can drive during the week only going to work so yeah it's nice to have a weekend tour it is it is i mean i keep looking at other cars and thinking but then when you come out and see this sat on the drive gleaming i do i want to sell it but no um going back to these so all the stuff that we've like said obviously underneath the bonnet and everything like that it works so well like it's not like you're saying there's no flat spots or anything like that no, it's lovely I actually think this is just how it should be if that makes sense don't get me wrong when you get in cars obviously that have like a more aggressive tune where the turbo kicks in and it kicks in hard it's that adrenaline it's rush because you think yeah I'm um, usability as well yeah um, so it's okay you know spinning the front wheels up all the time but comes a point where when it's raining you can't take the car out because you can't drive it because it no. just spins yeah um, Stage two plus now, so it's yeah. going to be another. It's going to be an intercooler, it'll be a fuel pump, and return valve. Yeah. Possibly, it's going to be another remap. It's going to possibly be uh, a clutch at some point. Yeah. Um, who knows? Um, what we'll do. So. Yeah. Gently pulls you back, and 
and I love that. It just gently pulls you back into seat and say, hey, it is here, I'm it's, here. It's drivable as, yeah. as an everyday car, yeah. and then it's playable as a weekend car. Yeah. And again, fair play to you, mate. It's a lovely mode from, you know. And right on standard suspension as well. Yeah. Is it standard suspension? Standard suspension. Um, <laughs> I don't want to lower it. No. I don't want to lower it. Obviously, the roads where we are are terrible, oh, bouncy, yeah. lovely. Yeah. And I can't, I can't be ripping spares off or bumpers off. No, it's not worth it in the end. Just keep it as it is. Nice. Is it standard turbo as well? Or standard KO4 turbo on this. Uh, oh, yeah. CD, CDL blocked, which is a Cupra. A Audi S3, I yeah. believe it's in a couple of Volkswagens as well. Yeah. But it's a it's a good little car. It is, it's a lovely little car. Little car. I like it. <laughs> like I said, in Ashley's on I have a soft spot for this um, shape. Like, I love this shape. It's just I think these have aged pretty well. They have, they have. Obviously doing the little upgrades to them and yeah. some touches that you can do. Yeah. It's nice that there's a aftermarket for them. Yeah. As well. Big group. Um, actually, uh, on the uh, on Facebook, mm. we've got a page which is Mark Two Leon Owners UK. Yeah. Um, we've got Leon. Get on the page. Nice little community there. Mm. We'll always help you out. Like I said before, when we were walking around, Kev at Mark, uh, North Coast Workshop on YouTube. Absolutely brilliant fellow. He will talk you through the mods that you do. He'll go through everything. Um, there's no point in covering things like that because it's already been done, and I think Kev covers it well. Yeah. So, but yeah, big shout out to those guys. Fair enough, man. But yeah, no, it's a, it's a lovely place to be from a passenger yeah. point of view. It's lovely. Um, so, so, how reliable can it, like, well, not reliable, try word it like, um, how much can you push out of these engines, like, say, stock? I know it sounds a little bit like. But to be fair, Fred, I, I don't know, mate. I, yeah. I've heard of 400s and yeah. 400 pluses. It depends what you want to what you want to get out of them. Yeah. Um, me personally, I wouldn't go more than 400, 410 ish. Would you say like it's the 400? About 40. the 400 is safe. I mean, yeah. yeah. I think they changed the uh, turbo pour on these to an anti surge. Yeah. Um, and they do have a little bit of these. It's loads like of guys out there tuning them. Yeah. Um, it's loads like of bits out there for them. It's just that big your wallet. Yeah. Like, like every car, to be fair, how, <laughs> much, you do you, how much do you want to spend? Yeah. How deep do you want to get in? Yeah. So, so, but the thing is, you're never ever going to get it back if you sell it. So it's no. one of them sort of keep cars. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably I will keep this. So. Yeah. Another question as well: How many of these are still left on the roads? <laughs> I know. I keep asking the question. I don't. I don't know to be honest. Um, they're not. They're about. There's Mark Twos about, but there's like a lot of diesels and yeah. little weak motors and everything. I don't know how many Cobras and Cobras are about. Mm. Um, they're not a. I don't. I wouldn't say a mass car like a GTI Gold for. No, got, but it was said that you've got to be an enthusiast to drive these things. Yeah, and it's true. You've got. You've yeah. got to like driving yeah. something different, which they are essentially. Yeah. When um, I was when I first got my first say, I got. Yeah. And I was told then that you know the, the way the branding was set out for Volkswagen, the mm. Audi was your prestige. Yeah. Your Volkswagen was your business. It's, and these were you say it with your sporty. Yeah. And I don't like saying this, but Skoda were the, like the, the economical the economical budget range of the yeah. AG. But now I think that's all changed. I still think say it the sporty version. Yeah. Uh, Audi are obviously still there. Volkswagen are there still. Yeah. I'm. Do I think what, what else do I think? Well, I think electrification. Electrification. Yeah. It's gonna spoil cars. Tell me about it. I'm not a big electric fan, I'm afraid. So uh, I'm not a big electric fan. I think it's just a fad. It's a phase. It's a fad. It's a phase. It's, they cost more to run. They cost more to build. And with what's going on recently with like fires and yeah. all that, I don't think they're the way forward. These can't be a petrol. To be fair. Just wait, I was going to say, wait for the space when Porsche, because I know it's VW and everything is like they're yeah, that group. Yeah, 45% Porsche and uh, yeah. VW group. Which I was going to say, you wait for the space, because I don't know if you've heard the news, Porsche have obviously done synthetic oil. Uh, yes, synthetic, synthetic petrol, fuel, that's going to be the new great thing. Yeah, which I think will be brilliant. I think it's a lovely, you know, because we're not getting rid of 
you're not going to get rid of fossil Fuel. fuels or fuels. We're just going to make a synthetic one of it, which still means we can still have fun. That's it. And then there's no need for these electric cars or hybrids because they're saying there's no emissions that will be coming out. No, you know. See, and, and the other thing with electric cars, which I I can't stand, is you haven't got this. I know. That's all right, mate. Um, is there any before we do, guys? Is there any social medias you want to uh, shout out? Uh, I would shout out the uh, Mark II page that we're on. Um, yeah. Self and Ashley are on there. Uh, so that's the UK See It Leon page on Facebook. Yeah. Um, obviously, your your uh, Instagram yourself. Yeah. Um, shout that out. Um, Thank you very much. For that, got to be done. Yeah. Um, obviously, I, I mentioned Kevin at North yeah. Coast Workshop. He's a uh, He's a good lad. Yeah. Um, I'm quite a big fan of his. He shows you the your in-depth your in sort of how-tos yeah. and things like that. I love people like that. Yeah. Where like you can come to them, pick their brain, but they're happy to just. And he'll always he'll always reply back to you. Yeah. So yeah, Kevin North North Coast Workshop, um, Clark CKC Performance. Yeah. Um, and uh, Pat Senior, Pat Junior, and Scoop down at East Church Autos for yeah. doing the, uh, the mechanicals, fitting the exhaust. And the downpipe and everything else for servicing, absolutely brilliant, lads. So what I'll do, guys, is obviously you've done all them shout outs, but what I will do as a thank you to obviously the Mark II owners. Yeah. In the link in the description, if you've got say it, a Mark II, whether it be a diesel, a Cooper, a Cooper R, any type, is it any type of like Mark II? Any type of Mark II Leon's welcome. Any type of Mark II is welcome, as you heard. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for them. So if you are interested or you need any help or if you're interested in say buying one or picking something up like this or an R or a diesel and you're not sure, just click the link in the description. Loads of friendly people on there that will help you get started, help you with any issue and everything like that. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's it guys. Gonna end the video here. A like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.